Okay, let's try this. Hello. Uh, my name is Gabriel Galway, and I'm a DM, or a Dungeon Master. And today, I'm going to be doing something a little different, because I just found out how to do it. But I'm going to be drawing the character Cedric from the Eaters. Uh, so, I've got my iPad set up here. And uh, I'm going to try try draw him. Uh, so I've done like a rough sketch. I was asking uh, Kaho, who plays Cedric, what he's like. And in the end, he kind of had the idea that he thinks Cedric is quite similar to Iroh. So I thought that was a great thing to, to work from. Give me a few photos to kind of work with here. And uh, I'm, I've done a small base sketch, but I'm going to see if I can like flesh him out a bit better. Because I'm not super happy with this, but I just wanted to get the kind of proportions and things down. Um, but yeah, Let's see how we do here. Okay. So, first of all, I want to change up this face and make it a little softer. Okay, so bring that the brush side a bit. thing in this but I, I don't like it super a lot like a, a super a lot I don't like it a lot so now I'm gonna uh, do this again I'm uh, drawing on that the wrong end I get you know what oh, I find that something crazy I'm sorry it's that on the right layer. Okay. So I always got this kind of like softness to him. He also kind of manages to be gruff as well. I should get a few more references of Ira actually. Um, I'm gonna see if I can <laughs> far too large so I will just shrink this down put it put it here that works yeah. all right and then I will Let's see here yeah yeah that's perfect um, I was talking to call a little bit there and yeah I was just spot on so I was like yeah that's cool I could definitely work with that uh, yeah. chat is there okay cool so it's uh, nice this is a good reference for Iro there good expressions it's just got some nice eyebrows so I'm gonna see if I can capture something similar here He's naturally kind of got like a brow like this, it's a dragon worn, but yeah, it's a bit too harsh. Soften up a bit. Okay. 
No Brang will be a shaking dragon more, I think. Let's see if I can meet him up a bit as well. this dragon's head either. This is the kind of one I was working with as a reference, but let me see if I can find something nicer. Uh, that's a good expression. There we go. I'll figure it out as I go. things out here. Kind of like the idea of really gaunt as well, kind of frail, and frailness to it because he is quite old. It's very worn, but by keeping some kind of sharper features, because he's, he's old, but he's also like someone who just totally obliterates people with fireballs, so he's, <laughs> he's still capable. I don't want him to look too soft either, because there is a there's a gruffness to him as well. Also facing away from my mic, which is probably not the smartest, but that angle just works really nicely. But okay, um, some sharp features here. His chin should be a bit bigger. So it Figure out the dimensions is getting this guy as well. So this comes around here, just gonna come here, just gonna round it off. Okay, we've got some kind of space in here. These brows will meet. Keep this hairline in, but I don't want to go necessarily for that hairstyle. I think it's a bit too bushy. So it's over here, but I think it's a bit, a bit much. Do something similar though. 
do some sort of like ponytail or something. It could be balding actually towards the front. It could be quite funny. It'll work actually. I like a monk. Monk style. Hey, that's very IRO actually. There we go. The preceding hairline at the front. That works. And I don't curly horns or sharper horns. Curly horns are a little you know, it's like softer, I suppose. Could do to these ones. Yeah, that works out just a little nicer. Yeah, that's a good face shape there. Ah, it's a way better face shape. I kind of put more emphasis on the beard. Iroh's got a really fucking good beard. <laughs> I love the shape of the beards in, in, uh, in Avatar in general. They're just really dynamic, really fun shapes. They kind of jut out like at different sections of the chin. And they do a really good job as well of showing how a character's beard will grow <laughs> as they get old, as they kind of grow it out. Because they kind of, if certain bits here and here, or there's parts missing, and then it goes. Woof, woof. smoking a pipe as well. You know, one of the big traits of Cedric is that you know, he coughs up black smoke all the time when he, he smokes. Let his chill, chill soft eyes though as well. Soft to him. And then get a little more ham on these eyebrows. He's got more forehead to work with. I can, can add more, more wrinkles <laughs> all the way up. Gold chief. Good guy. There's some hair coming out of his ears. Pretty good. Okay. What are you saying, there, Marcus? Never really thought about it. Dragon Wars had hair. You can give him Einstein forehead. Oh, Einstein forehead. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, I don't typically draw Dragonborns with hair, but. Ah, uh, yeah, that's what you mean. Yeah, Einstein, exactly. Yeah, Einstein forehead is pretty good. Um, yeah, with, with Dragonborns, I I kind of almost imagine them kind of almost like tendrils, because, you know, lizards don't really have hair. But then, you know, you could totally have hair with the, the Dragonborns. I, I think it's, it, it adds a softness to them, and I like I like that it, it could be uh, hair. Because this is the reference he sent me, um, and I was like, well, that's perfect. He's got hair there. So I, I, like, I like the idea of it being like a hairy Dragonborn. And you've got, you know, the... Chinese uh, dragons and stuff like that that have loads of hair. They have loads of hair coming off the top of their heads. So I'm like, yeah, why not? Absolutely. Um. So let me see here. Um, Yeah. 
I could emphasize the Einstein for. <laughs> Got good forehead. If ever I seen one. Good old man forehead vibes. Yeah. And Iris got like wrinkles all the way up here. Perfect. Good schnoot. Good schnooty schnoot. Making like some tusks. We're gonna go to work. He's got like a. He hasn't got an underbite, so these don't quite work. Could do like this. Then he just looks like a snake or a vampire. Or maybe I can get some. Some small spikes there. Just extend his lip a bit. To accommodate for them. And that, that's a wonky one. That shouldn't be that side. It should be the other side. So you wouldn't actually see it here. Yeah, that works. Yeah. <laughs> what a wholesome guy. Yeah, he's got a bit of a. I like the idea that the kind of neck comes up a bit, so it does give him a bit of a hunch, but he's also got a pretty bad posture because he's so old. But, uh. What's really nice about Iro as well is he's got all these nice loose fitting clothing. It just really softens him up. He hides all his uh what's not called it as well, he hides his you know body shape underneath, but and then when you have that nice reveal later on, it's like he's fucking jacked actually and well, he works out so he is jacked later on, but that's just nice. Said something similar, I think. Some nice long fitting, uh, loose fitting clothes, big sleeves, and stuff would look nice. His collar. You all are in snowy place right now. You would have some warm clothes for that. I'm gonna pick up some kind of fur around his shoulders. Keep him nice and warm. Here. And then robes, 
probably gonna come down around here. Maybe come down a little lower, I think we layered up as well. Belt. All together. Here, just go straight down. It's an act light wear. No, yeah, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be going through the whole process. I think today, um, so I'm gonna be sketching them up and coloring Cedric, and uh, yeah, it's a nice Christmas present for Koppel. I like getting people Christmas presents. My, my excuse anyway for, for drawing him and then giving it to him for free. I can say it's a Christmas present. Um, there's a fire symbol here because he does like fire. Dragon born feet. Nice and cozy. They'll use just big, like probably big clawed toe, like it's kind of similar to like dinosaurs, like raptors, where they have the one big, big, big toe. Um, kind of like the idea that he probably has something like that going on, and so his shoes need to maybe accommodate that. So he's got this one bump here, and then it kind of goes down a bit. <laughs> this feels right. I'm tempted to give him like sandals. Turn this into like a, a geisha kind of thing. Not geisha, a uh, geita. But the, the, the sandals that look like this. That looks actually pretty good, but not very practical for snow. I do like this toe thingy. I'll just make him kind of foot wraps. Similar to this guy, he's got foot wraps. I know. Uzi foot wraps for his big dragonborn feet. That works. Nice and cozy. Yeah. Obviously, there's going to be a big toe popping up here just a bit. Foot and it's going to be coming up on the sides. Something like mm, Turn some rope come on this way. There we go, like that. And one bit there. Alright. Perfect. And I think maybe some nice. Finkless glove vibes here for him. He's still staying cozy. I do like to show off fingers. He does cast spells, so. Makes sense that he should have his maybe fingers. Loose. Could take some inspiration from Cedric here and give him a nice scar. Not Cedric, um. Critical role. Um. Season two, Wizard Man, Liam O'Brien, uh, Brain. 
Hey, cat. How's it going? I'm making Cedric, the old uh, dragonborn wizard that Kaho plays. Just designing him. I think it's going pretty well. It's going pretty good. Give him some gloves so we can be nice and cozy. Even though, yeah, I suppose he, he does feel the cold. It's the heat that he doesn't care too much about. It doesn't bother him. Yeah, he's going pretty well. Get some smoke coming out of the nostrils. How did he do it here? Oh, it's coming out of his mouth there. He's coming out of every kind of hole. I don't really smoke, so. I, I guess it depends on the dragonborn if they're cold blooded or not because you get all these different types so you've got like white dragonborn which would be resistant to cold damage <laughs> I would I would say lizard folk are like I think Grog's really struggling at the moment in the cold um, but uh, dragonborn are a bit different like so I think Cedric's character is probably cold-blooded because he's he's a gold dragonborn, so he's resistant to fire, but he can't take a lot of cold. So he probably loves the heat. He's probably just like a lizard. He just bathes in that for ages. But then, if he was a white dragonborn, then it makes more sense. Why his mom spent his so much money on him, so he won't be a cold lizard man. Yeah, this is why, yeah, you, you bought him some nice cozy clothes, which you are going to pick up in, uh, I believe, the um, Magnolia, the Magnolian Village, I think is where the delivery was going. So you'll be able to get those clothes soon. Oh, Cold Snap, that was it. Cold Snap is after Magnolian Village. Cool, so we'll eventually be able to change, uh, change uh, Krog's token. Which I think is well due at this stage because he's had that token for so long and it takes up so much space. It's like really well, bad, poorly optimized on my behalf because I used to make up those tokens in a really silly way. Okay, so I think this guy is more or less good to go. Um, I need to. Uh, we do a little bit of wizardry on the spot in this spell book. Oh, that's we're not gonna see any of that, so that's fine. Let me do it from there. I like hmm. see in this thing is what they do at the bolts as well. To the top, which I really like. I like that touch. I do something similar here. Make this edge look a little thicker. Look thick. bulky piece of metal. Yeah. That works. I don't need to go into too much detail here. I think I'll just keep it nice and simple. The focus is not on his book. <laughs> my eyes are up here. Why are you staring at my magic spell book? That would be lovely to just go ham on the spell book and just be like like tabs coming out of it. Might do a couple of tabs coming out of it. I'll do these things a little for myself. I'm like, what is that? What did I draw here? I'll forget it later. Just watch. Yeah. What is happening? What are you seeing there? He's so old. Old buff dragon man. I. I don't know how buff he's actually pretty strong. Like he's he's got a nice bit of strength, so he's pretty sturdy for a dragonborn. But he, I think, um, when Kahal described him to me, he's actually quite skinny. He's quite a skinny dude. So I mean, he's got like his arms here; they're quite thin. But it's all these, all the clothing that he would wear, like padding himself up, that um, that bulks him up that way. But I think he's actually 
it's not the the strongest looking of not the strongest looking dragon one. Um, yeah, frail old man. Not really though. You can fucking kill ice giants. He's doing a lot in his old age. <laughs> Assuming both, yes. <laughs> Maybe one more tab. This is like my DMs book, Dungeon Master book. It's just so many tabs in it, and you get more of them as well. Like I use the paper ones, but they they uh, kind of fold down all the time. They get all kind of wonky. But I, I have these plastic ones now, and, it, and it's just so much better. But, uh, yeah. There we go. That's pretty good. That's a pretty good old Dragonborn, dude. I think I can start going over this with some, some you know, some nicer lines. Let's see here. Some, where are these? I don't need them at the moment. There we go. There is Cedric. Looking well. Looking well, my dude. Um, I'm going to go over this again. I'm going to try and maintain the same scratchy lines because what I've been doing recently is I've been just working straight back into my sketches. Um, but I want to. I like the sketchy parts, I like these little lines that kind of remain, but uh, I think with this, I'm just going to go to a whole new set of lines. Still maintain like a scratchy effect, I think, but I guess it's just a bit messy with all the details here, so I'll go back in here with uh, another I find myself doing a lot of the time though when I go back over the same sketch work is I try to add that sketchiness again uh, by and, and it doesn't feel as real it doesn't feel as kind of genuine but I like that genuine sketchy vibe you get in the original drawing oh, I'm kind of torn this is the right thing to be doing or not Oh, I just used the basic um, pen from uh, Procreate. Uh, this is script. I've slightly changed it. I don't know how I've changed it, but <laughs> it's a little different. Um, but that's the only one I use. I've used that from the start, and so when I every time I get new pens, um, and I'm like, yeah, this this will must be a better pen. I'll, I'll try this one because I got I've got some really nice ones. I've got this nice true grit stuff, and there's a really nice pen here. That doesn't look nice, but it's like pretty inky, bleedy. 
and I really like that one, but I'm just so used to this that I just, I just keep going back to it. Um, but this one's a really nice one, and uh, it's got some nice variation, but I'm just so used to the other one that I just, I just don't go for it. Um, I use it sometimes, this one, um, but mainly I just use the one script, or calligraphy. Um, actually, what's the difference between this one? I see, I really like the thinness and thickness you can get. Um, and then the original script is, it's a bit more, it, yeah, this is, I remember this one is like a bit more of a drag to it. Uh, it kind of like follow, like follows your pen, almost sticks to the top of the pen. It's really strange. Um, but this, I think I turned that off. With this one, I don't know how. I'll show you the settings, I think. I don't know, just go through it quickly, but like it's something in the taper maybe. I change, I don't know. Or the stabilization, I think I put them all down. But uh, the dynamics, I don't know. I don't know. I did something to it. I can't remember what. I remember figuring out what different things do to these pens, but I can't remember now anymore what any of them mean. My brain just is like, I don't need that information anymore. This is fine. I'll just get rid of it. See, there's all these lovely details that I really want to forget about when I go back over my sketch pad. You know what? I think it's going to take more time to do this. I, even though I really like that eye now that I've done, but I think I will duplicate this. Increase that. Change this to black. I think I'm just going to work back into these lines and clean them up as I go, because that's typically what I've done before. And I, I really like that, that effect that you get, and then you kind of. You, you keep a lot of the sketchy lines, which are nice. Um, so let me just do that. It's much more hustle to some vibe. I don't know. It feels more. Uh, I always love being able to see how an artist has made a piece. I'm the kind of person in a, a gallery, I'll typically look at the edges of a painting because um, I like to see all the layers um, and the buildup of the paint. So I can see you know, what layering they did to achieve whatever effect they had. You can learn so much from a painting by looking at the edges. You know, so many, so many painters paint over the edges. I'm like, well, why did you do that? There's a whole story there. It's like, yes, I'm trying to achieve the same effect here. I'm keeping my old sketchy lines. Because they're nice. And they even make it more human. Humans like mistakes. They like little faults and flaws because it makes it more relatable. I think. I'm gonna go right in here and clean up this dirty ass eyebrow. Especially nice then whenever you put colors down, you do very little to the colors because there's so much kind of texture in the in the line art, and it's like ooh, just put whatever flat color down, it looks good. And I, I like to keep things looking loose too, but just.
we come to the last few games of the year, which is quite exciting. It's been two years now. Oh, we're going into our second. It's been a year. Thanks. Campaign. It's pretty lovely. Half a year. Almost. A year and a half, I mean. stage with uh, Lady Questers, which is nuts to think of. Four year long campaign. It must be getting sick of it. So all this can just be hair. Yes, beautiful. This is so messy looking, but I think it works for him. He's kind of gives that ruggedness to the character on this. Messy lines. Clean up a little bit though. We should move it around here. Oh, it looks good. Give her some of the smoke that was unnecessary. Smoking. If that happens, make this milk a lot. You get all those kind of all the wrinkles all around the mouth. That's his fur coat. Okay. Good job. That's his beard. Do I remember all this? For later. Um, maybe bring up some of this beard up into his chin. I give him like a few, a few kind of war, not warts, what are they called? Like, just old patches. for putting on the stream in the background as well. I do appreciate it. I do want to redo Diego as well. I feel like I, uh, I could do him better. Uh, I could draw him better. Going too big 
to the rendering and it kind of just got very messy and muddy. I just haven't done feathers before. I want to retry to draw them sometime. Uh, this guy looks dope. I'm so happy with him. He looks great. <coughs> Old Dragon Ball. Smoke out of his nostrils. Yeah. Oof. Pipe. How is this iPad coming up on the stream actually? Is it recording it okay? Is it smooth enough? It's not too jittery, is it? I don't care. I haven't used this software before. First time streaming on iPad. Because it comes up fine for me, but. No! Excellent! Nothing strange. There's so many things that can record your iPad, but they're like, like 100 euros or something that you pay. I found this little thing and it's great. Um, posted in the, uh, in the uh, Discord. Very, very useful. Sure. It's a bit of a strange bowl there. It's very fucky, but. Uh, yeah, a bit better. Yeah. Much better. Bring the fold up. Look at this thing. Yeah. There we go. So doing this the wild. Way round. Here, just muddling everything so it's like to hide my mistakes, but I have to fix that a bit. Seeing it as well, myself, uh, I'm going to be down in Kerry from like the 18th or so um, until like the 20th. If you are around Marcus or Mark or everyone, we could all hang out, go, go, I don't know, play some games, it'd be nice. Take forever and stuff. And I'll be seeing the rest of the guys. I was chatting to Joe the other day, which is lovely.
show up with. anyone been watching the new uh, He-Man series? I just finished the second half of the second season there. It's good. It's great. It's only like five episodes per season though. It's so corny. I love it. A little cheesy. It's hoping to be a little grittier, but I guess it's still kind of still retaining kind of kitschy elements. And they do some really dark stuff, so of physical abuse. Interesting. I was referring to it as well, like Skeletor treats evil men. Sinking out of that camera. Kind of posture there. Uh, I want to bring this down, but then I'm going to be washing in the way, so. Yeah, whatever. Whatever. Don't even care. Right? Oh. Anytime I want to do something else, I'm like, I should probably do something else other than D&D. I just want an hour. She's like, nope, I'm in D&D mode. Do everything you gotta do with D&D. Gotta be D&D related. Like, not healthy. Start drinking for that a bit more. Start working out a bit more. But... Surprising amount of detail in Cedric. Oh, makes sense. Some sort of wizard who collects all these bits of stuff. I'm enjoying the detail, that I've already detailed it. Okay, I don't know. If somebody wants to do things fast, wants to just get the concept out really quickly, but I'm enjoying taking more time with my drawings recently. Really nice. Just a little more special.
I'm someone who zooms in and out a lot. Probably shouldn't do that, it's probably a bad habit actually. But I go into all these small details so often. Really practice, you know. Just drawing from out here most of, more of the time, most of the time because these little details I'm gonna count. I do like cleaning them up. It's very satisfying. But they don't really matter. Because you're only gonna see that. Gone down a few times. Make sense. This is This strap is, but you know, it looks good. It doesn't make any sense, but it looks good. Trousers that just don't have pockets that work, but they got pockets on the knees because they look cool. But they know no one's going to use the knee pockets, so they just they don't need anywhere. <laughs> Cedric's the same. Cedric, Cedric 
Let's do that. He's coming to the point where he is coming to the end of his life, which I think has already done, I guess. So I guess he's got very different views on life. He's interested in the whole concept of living. stage when you're old, like 90, or do you have that same wisdom? It's hard to comprehend. Style strap done. <laughs> so pretty well, I think. Best way to check as well, it's just flipping. Both ways that for good actually works. Hands are good, body's good, toes are good. Oh, that always makes them look really wonky. That actually works pretty well. I'm glad. I'm proportioned. Oceans. Always gotta have a potion to feed uh, the ego.
Component swell. So component swell for a little dragonborn. Big socks and sandals. Hello to anyone watching. Hope you're all doing well today. Hope you're having a fab Monday. Hope it's going good. Cedric, the old dragonborn. It's going pretty well so far. Gotta clean up my line work and I'm gonna be adding some color. I started watching Fantasy High recently by, I think it's Rule 20 or something like that. Yeah, it's so good. I was laughing so much. I gotta go finish the first episode today. That was amazing. Really, really funny. They're such, such talented individuals as well. They're just the way they play off each other is brilliant. Really, really cool stuff to watch. That is enough cleaning up. Okay, I'm gonna start coloring this now. Looks pretty good. Oh. Okay, I'll check my phone.
Paladin. Knight. Let's just go with uh, the mid base. Uh, I guess the gold, but it's kind of faded gold, so something like that. Let's go that say. This gold doesn't really oxidize or anything, so. Scratched up. Just cover the whole guy, I guess. Just the one base card. Or no, why am I doing that? Just, just do his face. <laughs> Nothing else is going to be cool. Go for the old gold vibe as well, which would be pretty cool. Let's see what the blue and the gold look. They're kind of more traditional, I guess. The reds and gold look very nice as well. Maybe distinguishing the gold. 
soon.
Oh wait, I changed the whole fucking thing. Still connected. That's kind of cool. Huh. Alright. Whatever. But this thing is going to start dying pretty soon. Again, so I might have to stop the stream for now. And come back to this. Back on pencil is little butt. My finger can't do it with the apple pencil, so uh, that kind of sucks. I guess I'll stop the stream here then. I can't continue. Um, but uh, thank you for watching, whoever's been watching. And uh, yeah, welcome back to Cedric soon enough. <sighs> Maybe I can go on a small break. I'll have a break. I'm gonna have some lunch, leave my pencil charge, and that should be good then. Alright. Do, do, do. Go to a break.
the agree. Oscar will um, <laughs> will look at Ghostly and say, uh, "Frog, horse, frog. Do you want a frog, horse? Do you want to go on top of the frog, horse?" <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Are you all right, mate? Frog! <laughs> oh, time frog! Do you, do you hit your head? Oh my god. <laughs> I, will, I will go next to Madame Sprout and just put my hands on top of the frog. Safe! Very safe! <laughs> Eternal Oscar right now. <laughs> thing where like the the sides of bubbles mouth kind of stretch to the sides and curl downwards like a and you can sense what bubbles is thinking like really you think i'm good at this kind of stuff <laughs> <laughs> i was just gonna look at her i was like no but i don't think i'm any better you really want me to go up to that man a girl like oh it's okay she wasn't much of a loss you see i can't bubbles kind of points inside their mouth and just you, you know what Bubbles is saying the whole time, and Bubbles is just trying to communicate. Like I can't even talk. <laughs> I think that's the benefit. Uh, uh, yeah, that's true. Okay. <laughs> Ghostly, I think this might be for you. What's, go, what's, what's that then? Wait, go, go give Brian a, a hug. Oh, Brian's upset because the accenters and bits on the floor. <laughs> <laughs>
Oscar will um, <laughs> yeah. will look at Ghostly and say, uh, "Frog, horse, frog. Do you want a frog, horse? Do you want to go on top of the frog, horse?" <laughs> <laughs> yeah, are you all right, mate? Frog. <laughs> <laughs> on top, frog. Do you, do you hit your head? <laughs> oh my God. I will I will go next to Madame Sprout and just put my hands on top of the frog. Safe. Very safe. <laughs> Turn all us right now.
I've noticed that uh, Bubbles like does like a thing where like the the sides of Bubbles' mouth kind of stretch to the sides and curl downwards, like a, and you can sense what Bubbles is thinking, like really, you think I'm good at this kind of stuff? <laughs> <laughs> I was just gonna look at her. I was like, no, but I don't think I'm any better. Do you really want me to go up to that man? A girl like, oh, it's okay. She wasn't much of a loss. See, see, I can't. Bubbles kind of points inside their mouth. And just, you, you know what Bubbles is saying the whole time. And Bubbles is just trying to communicate. Like, I can't even talk. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's well, the benefit. Uh, yeah, that's right, true. Okay, yeah. <laughs> Ghostly, I think this might be for you. What's, go, what's, what's that then? Wait, go, go give Brian a, a hug. Oh, Brian's upset because that Xinta's in bits on the floor. <laughs> 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 oh, oh, my oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs>
<laughs> okay. Um, Oscar will um, <laughs> will look at Ghostly and say, uh, "Frog, horse, frog. Do you want a frog, horse? Do you want to go on top of the frog, horse?" <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Are you all right, mate? Frog! <laughs> oh, time frog! Do you, do you hit your head? Oh my god. <laughs> I, will, I will go next to Madame Sprout and just put my hands on top of the frog. Safe. Very safe. Eternal <laughs> <laughs> Oscar right now. Oh, you a thing where like the the sides of bubbles mouth kind of stretch to the sides and curl downwards like a and you can sense what bubbles is thinking like really you think i'm good at this kind of stuff <laughs> <laughs> i was just gonna look at her i was like no but i don't think i'm any better you really want me to go up to that man a girl like oh it's okay she wasn't much of a loss you see i can't bubbles kind of points inside their mouth and just you, you know what Bubbles is saying the whole time, and Bubbles is just trying to communicate. Like I can't even talk. <laughs> I think that's well, the benefit. Uh, yeah, that's okay, true. Yeah. Ghostly, I think this might be for you. What's, go, what's, what's that then? Wait, go, go give Brian a, a hug. Oh, Brian's upset because the accenters and bits on the floor. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> okay. Um, Oscar will um, yeah. will look at Ghostly and say, uh, "Frog, horse, frog. Do you wanna frog, horse? Do you wanna go on top of the frog, horse?" <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Are you all right, mate? Frog! <laughs> oh, time frog! Do you, do you hit your head? Oh my god. <laughs> I, will, I will go next to Madame Sprout and just put my hands on top of the frog. Safe! Very safe! <laughs> Eternal Oscar right now. <laughs> a thing where like the the sides of bubbles mouth kind of stretch to the sides and curl downwards like a and you can sense what bubbles is thinking like really you think i'm good at this kind of stuff <laughs> <laughs> i'm just gonna look at her i was like no but i don't think i'm any better you really want me to go up to that man a girl like oh it's okay she wasn't much of a loss you see i can't bubbles kind of points inside their mouth and just you, you know what Bubbles is saying the whole time, and Bubbles is just trying to communicate. Like I can't even talk. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's well, the benefit. Uh, yeah, uh, that's true. <laughs> Ghostly, I think this might be for you. What's, go, go, what's, what's that then? Like, go, go give Brian a, a hug. Oh, Brian's upset because the accent is in bits on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
Okay. Um, Oscar will um, yeah. will look at Ghostly and say, uh, "Frog, horse, frog. Do you wanna frog, horse? Do you wanna go on top of the frog, horse?" <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Are you all right, mate? Frog! <laughs> oh, time frog! Do you, do you hit your head? Oh my god. <laughs> I, will, I will go next to Madame Sprout and just put my hands on top of the frog. Safe! Very safe! <laughs> Eternal Oscar right now. <laughs> a thing where like the the sides of bubbles mouth kind of stretch to the sides and curl downwards like a and you can sense what bubbles is thinking like really you think i'm good at this kind of stuff <laughs> <laughs> i was just gonna look at her i was like no but i don't think i'm any better you really want me to go up to that man a girl like oh it's okay she wasn't much of a loss sleep you see i can't bubbles kind of points inside their mouth and just you, you know what Bubbles is saying the whole time, and Bubbles is just trying to communicate. Like I can't even talk. <laughs> I think that's well, the benefit. Uh, yeah, that's okay. true. <laughs> Ghostly, I think this might be for you. Shoot, I uh, totally forgot that I was still streaming. Uh, my iPad has died, unfortunately. So. Charged my Apple Pencil, but um, failed to charge my iPad, so I will, I'll be back to do more Cedric stuff later, but thank you everyone for tuning in, and I'll see you later.